What is up people YouTube, it is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you could call me Vinny, and today we are going to take a look at the Storm Collectibles New York Comic Con exclusive Mortal Kombat Rain. Rain used to be a refugee, he was a fighter in a resistance group and as time went on he became the best fighter out of all of them. Unfortunately for the group, Rain grew more egotistical and arrogant and left the group when they denied him leadership. He only works for Shao Kahn only to have his own army. Rain made his first appearance in, I believe it was the SNES port of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. The figure was announced as an NYCC exclusive along with Smoke, while the bloody version is an exclusive on Big Bad Toy Store for a regular price. So with that in mind, is the clean version worth tracking down? We are going to find out. Let's get started. Okay, I probably don't have to say it at this point, but I had to anyway, because I'm a reviewer and need to point it out. This is the seventh time the ninja body mold has been used. Yep, that's more than the SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla mold. Except with the ninjas, they are much better quality, and actually worth the money. Anyway, the only things different with this figure is the paint job and accessories. The purple on this figure is deluxe. The purple looks a lot better than the pictures I've seen. I'm going to be extremely brief with the sculpt, so let's take a closer look. The face sculpt is great and has a stern, angry look. The eyes are outlined with red. The mask has a very clean paint job, better than the previous figures. The gi is a diamond pattern sculpt. The clothes are a wrinkly-like sculpt. The purple is cleanly painted. The belt is a tightly wrapped sculpt, and the tie is painted much better than previous figures. The arms have a muscular sculpt with the paint details to make it resemble human skin. The wristbands still sport the awesome uh, silver dry brushing. The legs have a wrinkly sculpt and the lower leg armor has silver dry brushing on the purple with some black. The shoes have a sandal like sculpt but also look like shoes. The sculpt is still fantastic. It's not bad that he reuses the same mold, that's not the figure's fault. And the paint job is almost enough to make anyone cry during a purple rainstorm. If you watched my smoke review and the reviews of the other ninjas, you already know that the articulation is the exact same as the other ninjas. So there's nothing much more that I can say. Articulation is still excellent for this mold, but there's nothing more I can say, so I'm just going to breeze right through the articulation. Head is on a double paw peg. You can look this high up, this far down. Look side to side. We can play and play. Upper torso is on a ball joint. He can crunch about this far forward. He can crunch about, uh, about, about this far back. Can also rotate, can pivot. Arms on ball joints, we get slight butterfly joint movement. Can do a full 360 degrees. Hinge about this far, far up. Biceps can swivel. Elbows are double jointed. Wrists are on a ball peg and hands on a, on a swivel hinge. Legs can kick about this far forward. This far back. We get perfect splits. Knee is on a, a double hinge. Ankles are on ball joints and a hinge. Can hinge about this far forward. Can hinge about this far back. Ankle rocker, while it is not the best, it still works well for, for the ninjas. So it's not too bad. And toes on a hinge. Articulation, like I said, is the exact same as the other ninjas. So, if you own the other ninjas, you pretty much know know what to expect for, for Rain. Articulation is definitely not bad. I'm not saying that at all. It's just that, you know, there's nothing more that I could say. So, if you own, the, if you own one of the ninjas, you pretty much know what to expect. Rain stands up to about 7 inches. Obviously, not true 112 scale, but honestly, it's not a big deal, especially if you collect Marvel Legends or other Storm figures. Here are the comparisons. Here he is with the figure arts Sane Raised at Earth Goku and Perfect Cell. Here he is with the figure arts Infinity War Black Panther and Black Widow. Here he is with the Mezco Doctor Strange and Ronin 5 Wolverine. Here he is with the Storm Collectibles Reptile and Smoke. And finally, here he is with the Storm Collectibles Shao Kahn and Goro. He's in scale with his own line, but you may need to be creative if you want to display him with other figures. 
Raiden comes with the same hands and masks, but new effect parts cater to him. And for you guys, I will go over all of these, once again. First up is the Mortal Kombat 2 mask that was on him in the package. Next is the Mortal Kombat 1 mask. For the hands, he comes with two fist hands that were on him in the package, two clawed like gripping hands, two stylized posed hands, two karate chopping hands, and one gripping hand for the right. And finally, an open hand shooting out water. The whole piece is translucent plastic and the water has a foggy white color to it to make it resemble water quickly being thrown out of the hand. The hand goes on the right side, but be careful. Unlike the other hands, this one is a very hard plastic and could very easily break if there's too much force. Be careful and interchange the hands with caution. Finally, we get three purple lightning bolts and one electric base where the lightning is striking. All of these pieces are purple with some white and blue mixed in and it looks amazing. Well done, Storm. However, all four of these pieces are hard plastic. The lightning bolts will break if you ham handle these. The bolts can fit in any of these three peg holes in the base. The problem, it is very hard to, to put these in, making sure they are secure most of the time. They don't go in all the way, which is very nerve wracking since you're trying not to break these. Once they're on, they look great. Just pose Rain accordingly however you want to use these, and you're all set. Accessories are great for Rain, but goodness gracious, it is nerve wracking getting those lightning effects set up. Be very careful when working with these. So, buy or don't buy because this is not a regular retail release. The figure will run you about $70, $90, or $100. However, the bloody version will run you about $55. So, if you don't care if it's clean or bloody, then get the bloody version of Rain since it's cheaper. For those that want all the clean versions, your only option is unfortunately eBay. Just try not to overpay and you'll be happy. Regardless of the price, Rain is fantastic. If you need to complete the classic ninjas, get this figure sooner rather than later. I'll give Rain a perfect 10 out of 10. And that finally completes the classic Mortal Kombat ninjas. Well, that's it. Thanks guys and gals so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you would like to be updated on when new videos goes up, be sure to subscribe. If you want to be notified when new videos go live, be sure to hit that bell icon. And if you want some behind the scenes stuff, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Link to it is down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.